folks, JD here, and today we've got part two of the Flytech T18. This time it's the indoor flight. So let's just recap over yesterday's flight what happened. Well, everything was going well, everything was flying well, and then she just fell out of the sky while she was in speed mode three. So went, picked her up, put it back. She hadn't tripped the failsafe, just to let you know. Everything was still bound, so I just put it back on the on the mat, sent her back up, fine, pushed her into speed mode one again, moved her around, no problem. Speed mode two, fine, then she fell out of the sky again. So once again, hadn't tripped the failsafe, everything was still bound, Wi-Fi was still relaying, everything was still recording. Picked her up, put her back on the mat, flew her again, uh, and she was fine. For the rest of the rest of the day, I went back into speed mode three. I went back into speed mode one, speed mode two, speed mode three. No problem. We did 360 flips. That didn't prove any problem at all. Uh, so it's a little bit concerning. I'm a little bit concerned. So uh, what I thought I would do is we'd fly indoors, see exactly how that goes, see if she does the same. Okay, indoors, we don't get the in environmental factors. We are, it's because I've got quite a small living room. I'm probably just going to be able to fly in speed mode one, maybe push it to two if I'm lucky. But I tell you what, let's have a look and see exactly how she does indoors because at the minute i i yeah at the minute it's not looking good now one thing i have noticed is she's not as stable indoors as i thought she would be we've got a little bit of movement so i'm just going to try and trim her up a little bit for indoors oh i think there we go that is very good i think okay so let's try and see uh, how she does so the thing is I, I got mixed feelings about how I think she's going to do indoors because I think she's going to need a lot more area I certainly think she does need a lot more area to cover a lot more area to fly in this is not an indoor little guy although he is very stable indoors but my movements as you can see I'm very delicate in my movements to ensure that he doesn't fly off in any particular weird direction. So it's because of that that I'm going to say that he is not, categorically not, an indoor flyer. Ooh. See, there's a bit too much travel. And with an indoor copter, when you're flying, you can always tell an indoor copter because there's not any of that travel. Like when you turn her around and you're going in one direction, she doesn't carry on going in the other direction, like that. See, for a little moment, and then she starts to go forward. With an indoor copter, they pretty much, they turn straight away and come straight back to you. I mean, it's still fun. It's still fun indoors, don't get me wrong. But it's not, it's not speedy. You're not gonna be flying around. I mean, quite literally, as you can see my movements, sorry about that blue LED. But as you can see, my movements are really quite restricted. You know, I'm making sure that I'm not going too far, I'm not going too fast. She is increasing in altitude a little bit, but that's okay. So for now, yeah, it's okay actually. You know, I got a bit of a hang of her now, she's okay. But still, it's not what you'd call, for a lot of people, it's not what you'd call fun indoors. Anyway, I'll pick up a pace a little bit, get a bit more speed on her. You would need a much bigger area to fly her in indoors. I mean, this is not a big enough area for her at all. I'm really having to baby how she moves around. I mean, if I can bring her back for a second, let's see if we can do any flips. Yeah, we can. Probably coming very close to that light though. Ooh, but still, these flips are able to be completed. Oh, so that's that's a plus, you know, it's a plus. But at the same time, you can see she's raising herself up a good two or three foot in order to complete, oh, wrong way, in order to complete that, there we are, in order to complete that flip. <laughs> to put it back into headless mode. So she is bringing herself up two or three foot and then flipping. So you do need to have quite high ceilings too. So based on all that together, I'm gonna say this is not an indoor flyer. Especially not for a house like my like mine. So I would say most definitely you would need a lot more room. A lot more room for this. But it's fun, you know, it's fun. But again, small basic movements just to 
ensure that she doesn't overstep the mark and she doesn't go too too crazy now there's a lot of downdraft being generated there and you can feel as she came around there and she I felt her on my arm which is why I put my hand underneath it because it's a hell of a lot being generated by those four brush motors okay spring around spring around again brilliant Ooh, bit too much bit too much come back to me come back to me Ooh, see now this is where she gets a little bit fiddly and we're back to normal there we go we're fine but that's the thing she can run away with you whereas when you're outside you want her to run away with you you want to she wanted to just fly she's got the space yeah it's pretty good Yeah, it's not, ooh, don't get me wrong, it's not a uh, <clears throat> an overly exciting quad indoors, but still, you get the idea. She can be flown indoors, although I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> not at all, I keep this one for flying outside. But she's got a nice tone to those motors, it's not too piercing, it's not too loud. All in all though, yeah. Oh, there we are. There is the battery flash. LEDs are so bright. So let's oh, hit the shoulder button, <laughs> not the speed button. Let's hit the shoulder button and let's land her. Now she's flying indoors. There's no ventilation. The window is open slightly and those motors are cold. Very, very cold. So all in all, I would say it's a, it's a successful indoor flight, although I would not be replicating this flight again. <clears throat> it's far enough to see it once and that's pretty much it any other more flying i'm going to be doing with this and there's going to be quite a bit more it's all going to be outdoors there we are folks i hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much for watching and listening i've been jd you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers i hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends happy flying